Day with us, rather. Better day of us, as the little mermaid. <laughs> yeah, as the little mermaid. Looking your fizz, you don't get no fun. Legs are required for jumping down. I have to cast an Amy Cannon. I always see them on my practice. I don't know what you're. Um, me and Amy are popping to the shops today. Not exciting shops. Well, I think Homebang is relatively exciting. Homebang is M and S. You know those sorts of things because we need to get some stuff for our sister's Hindu, like the goodie bags. So that's what we're off to do. We are a sister down today. It was meant to be all three of us, but oh, is there any song on? Oh, What's that one? I don't know, I I don't know that one. For, for the first time, that's when she's on the land. Oh, she's I, 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 I enjoy that one. So yeah, we're, that's where we're going, and we're currently having to sing song to the Little Mermaid. So they started great, I think. Yeah, and you look very mermaid. I, oh, this is from um, it reminds me of when she wears clothes for the first time. She's like, yeah. this dress. Well, I, I chose it because it feels like a maternity dress, and I'm really voted. But you know, anyway, BRB. So we have just oh, the lights on. Okay, we've just been in Home Bargain. Sorry, we didn't take you with us, but it's not a very big one, and we were just kind of like being quick. But what we're gonna do is we'll it's do Saturday, a Saturday, so it's busy. Isn't mm, it? Yeah, not where I'd ideally choose to spend my Saturday, but hey ho. Now I don't want to. Oh, so we don't want Jessica to see. No, she doesn't mind. She was oh. gonna come shopping. Oh yeah. Sure. Um. So yeah, we'll show you everything we've got when we get home and like how we're putting them all together. Mm -hmm. We're going to Hobbycraft. Oh wow. Oh, um. Okay. To look for kind of like decorative bits and bobs. Um. Um. But yeah. So we'll try and vlog in there. Hopefully there's a bit more quiet. Oh my word! There's car right there. Yeah. Did you? Did you know? I'm going in the range. Look, I just found those my dress. She's gonna go strawberry Daisy picking. Garden. Oh, I'm just up to the fields, everyone. Strawberry fields. Hope you don't get stung by a wasp. It is so <laughs> hot in here. Yeah, the range has no air con. What the hell is that about? When we came in, we remember from the year before when we had that insane heat wave in the summer. There's oh, literally no air con in here. Well, yeah, it's very hot. It's, oh, it's actually God, stifling in, in here. Section. It's stifling in here. I don't even remember why we're in here, so that's we're good. We're looking for decorative. That's not mm. very angle. We're looking for decorative things for a hen do. Oh, we're in a hobby craft and they've got aircon. Oh, look, should we get that for dad? Not really any point, is there? Look, Papa. That's what I used to say when I was younger. But actually, you think I was talking about my dad. Actually, I had a guinea pig that I randomly decided to call Papa for some oh, unknown Papa. reason. No, Papa. I've no idea where. It, I must have just heard it randomly somewhere. Oh my God, I really love that when I was little. Pottery. Pottery was my favourite thing to do, which is I know a bit weird, but God, it's actually quite nice in here. Fun vibes in Hobbycraft. Oh look, they've got all baking stuff. I never thought they did that in here. Oh my God, I would have loved making that. Pardon? Holly's on a mission, guys. She's on a mission. Anything that like, we haven't got. Oh, yeah. See, we can't really do all this because we're in a hotel. If we were in a house, I would do all that. Yeah. Um, I've got her a veil already. I've got her a headband. Um, I don't think she'd want these glasses or like no. the I've got badge. photo props. I've got 
Yeah, I think we've got all of them. I've got, I've got what sashes. about a hat or the sash I've thing. got sashes. I've got oh, then we don't need it. Do you think we need another thing? I mean, that literally says hem party, but it's not even that clear to read. Oh, I like that, though. But it's not like, if it was more clear, do you know what I mean? It looks a bit more like, it you should think, be more bold. Well, I've got this one, which is basically like a dupe of that. Bride to be. Yeah, feet. that is, yeah, it is, yeah. But then, that's only one bundle. We've got, the, we've got her room to decorate. We've got... The brunch mm. spot, the restaurant, and the club. So another party. The club? I'm not going to decorate the club, Holly. When we get to the booth, I might just say... I don't know if you will when you get there. You're not going to do that. That's going to be a full on. Well, what about... I'm going to find someone. I'm going to find you. <laughs> what the hell? Uh -huh. Or what about a party <gasps> backdrop? That's only £4.50. No, it's not. What about a party curtain? Or going, a oh, it's a bit tacky, those ones. They're just like any old party thing, like streamers. I like the confetti balloons, but I don't think that's going to be... The thing is, I don't know how to blow them up. And them I'd... Well, basically, you do this. They've been deflated by then. My favourite Taylor Swift song. I like red. Be, I, I like red. red. Um, I love anyone rain. Oh, rain. I'm going to go Love Story. Oh, yeah. Old school Taylor Swift. I'd love to see Taylor Swift. Have you seen Taylor Swift, haven't you? Yeah, with, um, with um, Jessica. Jessica. Oh, I'm but I was like 17, 18 and I'd obviously just sort of seen some guy that I don't even know who the fuck it was and every song, every song I was just trying desperately not to cry because I would have been embarrassed. I remember. But I was upset oh. over something. I, yeah, I remember when you just went and I remember being like through my, oh, I hate tennis with things. Really? What? And now, well, I was just brainwashed by the misogyny of the media, you know. Right. Right. Now I can appreciate, where the fuck are we doing? Oh, I like that. Uh, yeah. Look everyone at this little, the Celine dupe we found in, what's his name? m, &S. m &S. This was sold out for ages. Lovely. What have you found, Amy? More gold hoops go my gold hoop collection. You have too many gold hoops, Amy. Okay. We're in m &S. I like that for a holiday. I was just thinking that. I like pearly earrings for holiday. Nice oh look, like if you, you want to be holiday? like, get married and you've only got 30 quid, that's an option. Yeah. I like these emerald ones, Amy. Look at these beach bags, everyone. This is so cute. That would go in my outfit. And they've got bigger ones as well. They're like little Loewe dupes in M&S, everyone. You need to get here. Everyone, so we thought we'd do a little haul of everything we got. We've got some Father's Day stuff and then mainly Hindu stuff. Have you opened them already to eat? I had one. Do you want one? No. Um, I was going to say I was trying to wait, but I couldn't. Um, so Father's Day wise, ooh. Father's Day wise, we got some Father's Day cards. Amy got some famous grouse chocolate, and then this is from High Barnes, wasn't it? It was for the dad who knows everything, like a little game, and you also got him some whiskey. It was literally 1.49, so yeah. it's just a little like, fun game to do. But I've, um, I've already, my stuff came today, I just need to wrap it. Yeah. And the other stuff, do you want to say what you got? Oh yeah, I got colour catcher sheets, so I was in home bargaining. She they always are. leaves these in the fucking washing machine. No, I don't. She always leaves these in the washing machine, though. Look, okay, we need preventing colour runs, anti-fading and colour revival, okay? And then I just got a hair mask, I don't have any, and some B12 vitamins, I don't know if they do anything, but I like them, because the flavour tastes nice. But the rest, um, I feel like we need to get the camera close so I can do a little show. It's so weird looking at that mini hand. I know. It's everything for our little goodie bags. So if I show you some stuff I've already bought, this is all what I bought myself. I'll, we'll go through pricing later. Um, so I got like a 10 pack of these kind of cute rustic looking back, car, back cardboard bags. I know. And I got this <laughs> ribbon, which is kind of a similar colour to our bridesmaids dresses. It looks pale on camera, but it's kind of like a cream shimmer. I'm going to tie little bows on them to make it look nice. Um, and then another thing I got was, I thought these were bigger when I ordered these online. And I got these little bags online. I thought they were bigger. But the idea is that I got these, because again, this is on the colour scheme, like the whites and nudes and golds. Yeah, true. To put like a couple in each well, goodie bag. really knows what she's doing when it comes to things like this. Um, I mean, although, no clue. Yeah, so I'm kind of taking the lead. You might have to be my maid of honor when I get married. Although, I'm not even the maid of honor. The thing is, like, these are the medium size. They barely fit two in. We'll I feel just, like they'll just have to get one. They, they might just have to get one. Sorry, rations for the bridesmaids. But that was the idea. Like, to put I think one's sweet more bags. Cute. Um, 
I'll see what I can do. I'll, hopefully, I get to use these. Because these were medium, and obviously, I paid money for these little bloody bags. Anyway, yeah. um, other things we got were just like water to put in the gift bags. We got cans um, and like bottles of alcohol to put in the gift bags. We've got woo woo and strawberry daiquiri. We've got hand creams for each of the brands. And then we got these eye masks, which has a pack of six in each. So they're individually wrapped. Individually wrapped, so we're going to put a pack of some under eye masks. We did think one of sheet masks, but we thought some people might be a bit like sensitive with their skin. Yeah. We've got under eye masks. And I know, know some of the people, nice. I know some girls that don't even like sheet masks because they're so cold and wet oh, in their yeah. face and they don't well, like them, which well, I actually I know like. to a couple of people that are going, like that are our family, that they won't want a sheet mask. Exactly. So, you know, and then we got these straws to put in because they go with the colour scheme, nice gold straws. Um, so that people have the so water on the cans. We could have got one pack of those. I know, we could have got one, I don't know why I've got one in two. Um, we these are from Craig Barker, we'll night. probably just use, end up using these because we then went to the range and found these which say Team Bride, which are more of a pinky rose gold, so they don't necessarily, I prefer the colour of the gold, but they say Team Bride, so we're going to put them in. Yeah. Um, another thing I'm going to put in, I've yeah. got pens because I got previously these like for this is from home bargains advice for the brides cards and i'm also ordering on amazon if you search into amazon like hen party games you can get loads of cards and it's like would the bride want rather or who knows the bride best and i'm going to order some of those it's going to be us isn't it that well, like we home. all know her best her sisters but i'm going to order them because we've got one meal out we're going away for the night and we've got one meal out and we've got a brunch the following day and those sort of party games that are like quizzes are quite fun to do at the table so we did them for my sister's baby shower um i got them for them and they went down a treat so i'm going to order those mm -hmm. so that's some good advice i don't know what the camera got memory card is full so is. yeah we also got some more bunting this is like more of a pinky bunting it just says bright to be I also have some oh, some other bunting which says bride to be. I don't know what this says. Some of this says bride to be probably again. I've got bride to be um, photo props. Yeah, and, they're really good. Those ones. And I've got a bride to be sash. This is stuff I got from Home Bargains at another another date. Um, yeah, because I didn't have any of that there today. So no, that must have gone out. Like, we've got new yeah. stuff in now. I've also got for my sister to put in her goodie bag. I got her a bride headband, which I think is cute. Mm -hmm. And then I also got her this like veil so to wear cute. for photo. It's like a little pearl bow, and she so can just like cute. get a photo. I think that's really nice. So I'm gonna put that in and her goodie bag. Something different for her goodie bag. We have, and we've got her some presents there, which we're not gonna say. Cause no, just, we can show that. Up. But no, no, I want to keep that surprise. I want to keep Jessica's. I want to keep up the bride, our sister Jessica's oh, yeah, goodie bag. Oh this video. Because she might watch this. Oh, because we also have ordered her some presents today. Do you not include that then? Well? Yeah, we. Can, she's seen this though. because oh, I couldn't contain myself, so I showed her what. Okay, this. okay, okay. Um. Yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, we also got like wrapping paper, tissue paper to you know wrap some of the stuff we've got that's for our sisters. Stuff, because our sister's going to kind of have, she won't have one of those small bags, she's going to have a bigger box or gift bag. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and put these gift bags together now, but then I think that a good idea to put them together now. Okay, but yeah, that's everything we got. We just wanted to do a bit of a haul and show you. This is the live view. I've never had so many hand creams in my life. But yeah, I'm going to put together the old um gift bags yeah i really wish these were bigger but hey ho and hopefully they look good we also got paracetamols as well i forgot to say about that just because i feel like that's like you know like a standard like hangover cure for a hen do guys i've got an card order just arrived i'm not going to show you my face because to be honest i don't think i really want that on the internet right now because i've got some good stuff in it so one thing i managed to get because if you don't know it's going through a massive heat wave in the uk at the moment and i'm absolutely in need of ice i've been to three supermarkets no ice so i order some online because i've lost my ice trays but i'm going to order some more of those as well because then we won't have this issue will we so i've got ice i also got this little salad um from m s which is just like honey roast salmon pasta type thing i basically did this order to get one thing which i will show you in a minute and so i had to make up the order because i can't get this thing anywhere else 
do you know what i'm just going to show you now so basically i'm going to make my acai bowls because i'm obsessed and it's hot on summer now so you can only get this on a cardo from what i've seen anyway so you get four in a pack i was going to get two but basically last year i made one and really really fucked it up like i'm talking i'm talking like there's no way i could have eaten that there's no way anyone could have eaten it was really bad i don't know how i did that but i think i put too much cacao in so i'm going to try and make one with no cacao and then you know if that goes well we'll work our way up to the complex levels of additions like cacao so this is why i got it this is going to freeze up this is the main reason i did this whole order it's got this salmon pasta thing because it's really good for lunch and i just think it's good for portion control. One thing I'm bad about is portion control. Because if I like something and I'm like, well, this is healthy for me. This is good for me. I just want to keep eating it. And my portion control needs assistance. So this is quite good to help me with that. So I got that. Um, I also got one of these MS Ready Meals, Count on Us. This one is chicken in mushroom red wine sauce. Um, mainly just for ease if I'm busy or whatever. One day, one lunch or one dinner, I can just eat this. I've had this all before, it's actually really nice. The other day when me and mum got home from the airport, we went to m and just because it was on the way home and I actually picked up this um, watermelon and it was so nice and I don't normally hate watermelon. But I think I've realized it needs to be watermelon that's literally just been freshly cut or really high quality like MS basically. Otherwise I just find it's horrible when it's pre-cut. But this is really nice, this one from MS. And there's basically no calories in it. Like it's just so good for you. Um so I got that as a snack. I got some strawberries which are gonna be going on top of my acai bowl. Oh, I also got this, which is the same brand as the acai packets to make the smoothie bowls, but this is literally just frozen scoopable acai it's got the addition of banana in it i tried to get the original one but it was sold out so i don't know if you're going to like blend with this or just eat it as it is maybe you can do both i'm guessing you can just do both but i thought well what a fun thing to try um so i got that i didn't even know you could get that so that's exciting oh so i've been following this girl on instagram who's really really like health fanatic woman um and i didn't realize how amazing the benefits are of pomegranate juice so i bought this to try there was a bigger one but i thought Apparently it's very strong and a bit of an acquired taste. So I thought I'll get this one to try because it's smaller. I mean, it's still half a litre, but the other one was like nearly a litre. So I've got this one, but you only need like almost basically like a shot glass of it every day. And apparently the antioxidants in it are like, there's so many benefits. So I've got that to try. I've got, I've got another Count on Us meal. This is a ravioli one. It go basically they're like two for something pound with the other one that I got, so I got this. I also got myself a Caesar salad kit, which is bigger than the pasta one, but I think it's just because of all the lettuce. Um, this is from m as well. I wouldn't normally get Caesar salad because this dressing is so horrific. It's like, you might as well just have something else. But I really love Caesar salads, so I just thought, you know. Yeah, I saw these on, um, I'm sure you can get those anywhere, but I saw these on a car drive. They're, Crump it thins, um, which I thought would be really nice. You get more per packet as well. You get eight rather than six. Um, and I just thought that's such a nice way to have the crump it fix without it being too stodgy because they're really thick. Um, they're 61 calories per crump it. That's so good. Anyway, got those to try. And then the last two things I got is actually granola. So I got this one from Fuel UK, which I've had before. It's chocolate. Um, it's just basically high protein granola. And I also got another one which I've not tried before from the same brand, which is mocha flavor. Absolutely love mocha, so I thought I'd try those. So these are to go on top of my acai bowls, if that all goes well, fingers crossed. Um, and also just to have with like Greek yogurt and honey and a bit of fruit and stuff. Um, because I normally have porridge every single day for breakfast in the winter, but obviously it's way too hot for that now. So I'm gonna try this. I'm really hoping I like this because I really love mockers. If you know me, you know I love mocha. So yeah, that's literally everything I got. I know what you're thinking, that's not that much, but that actually all cost me 40 pounds. And that was zero pound delivery as well. It's literally just you're paying for the food because m and and that, I guess. But I did go to um, Aldi yesterday to do my big food shop and these were just things that I couldn't get in there. I also purchased some almond butter from um, Aldi to go on top of my acai bowls. I'm gonna do a separate video or a separate clip to show you when I make the acai bowls because I love watching things like that, so I'm hoping that you do as well. Um, yeah, but I'm going to go put this all away now, but I just wanted to show you what I got because a lot of these things excite me because there's a lot of new stuff, m and stuff excites me, you know, this is new, not tried it, this is new, not tried it, 
um, and you know, as it is. So yeah, I just wanted to show you everything. As I was saying, we're having a very big heat wave at the moment. Today is Monday. How am I washing up? That's drying very quickly because of the heat. That's my Winnie the Pooh nighty. And just out here we have little Bluey just absolutely flaked out in the sun while well, she's in the shade. Don't worry, I'm not going to bother you, Bluey. <laughs> However, I am about to lay on this hammock for the next couple of hours. Hello everyone, I've just hopped on in this heatwave that we're currently going through. I haven't melted away yet, even though it feels like I have. Um, oh my god, honestly, this is the only kind of weather I like when I'm around a pool. Actually, not around a pool, but it has to be in a pool, basically, at all times. Um, anyway, I did a little order, so I've come on here, I look naked now, but... I'm not. Anyway, um, so I did an order for the new Ariana Grande perfumes. Now, these were on offer on John Lewis, so I got them both in the 30 mil. I heard they were both nice, so I thought I'm going to get them both. I really like her Cloud perfume. I used that up. It's really similar to Baccarat Rouge, which is my favourite perfume, but it's obviously extortionately expensive. So I thought I would open these up and let you know what I think of the smell live. And let you know what i think of the smell so this one is vanilla mod i mean yeah it's definitely mod it's not mood so i think they both came out at the same time and i think this is like an original i think they both came out at the same time i like that her face is just plastered all over it if i had a perfume that is what i would do as well oh i didn't know she had tattoos obviously not a true ariana grande fan no. that's a lie i saw her i saw ariana grande in concert a couple of years ago before covid i think it was 2019 and she was so good I would honestly go and see it again. Um, so anyway, this is what it looks like. Very cute. Although, everyone has said that these look like vibrators and I have to agree, they do a bit. Although, I mean, it just looks a bit suspect, doesn't it? Really? Anyway. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh, that is so nice. Oh my goodness. Oh. Right, I'm not gonna. Sp I'm gonna smell the other one first, and then decide what I want to spray because I can't be spraying both really, can I? But that smells so nice, very vanilla-y, which is what I had read. And then we've got the blush, which is the same packaging, but obviously just like pink packaging rather than the plain. This one is not as easy to open. Okay, so yeah, exactly the same, but just in the nice blush pinky colour. Um, I really think they look so cute. I, I must admit, I would not choose this, this shape bottle for a perfume ever. I have absolutely no idea if it's supposed to replicate something or what, I'm not sure. I mean, they're both called Mod, does that mean something? I would look into it, but I care more about the smell, so. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, that's annoying. I don't like this one as much. I do like it, but just not as much as the other one, which is fine. But do you know what? I was only going to order one and it was going to be this one. So that would have been a mistake, clearly. I don't even really like this one, but I'm going to spray it and see if it develops differently because I already like the smell of the other one. So we'll go with this one today. Oh, the spray's a little bit weird, like it's blocked or something. Oh, actually. Oh. Oh, so basically, I don't know how to describe this sense, but the other one's more vanilla-y, so it's initially just really nice, whereas this one is like vanilla-y with more sweet notes in it, I would say. I don't even know if that's how they describe it, but that's what I would say. If I had to buy one, it would be the other one, I think, although I've not sprayed that on my skin and we know that is different, but mm, I do like the smell of this. I feel like these are going to be like daytime perfumes. I don't know about the other one yet because I haven't sprayed it on my skin. But this one for sure is going to be more like a daytime perfume, I think. And then I'll stick to my favourite Zara ones for more of the evening, I think. That's a shame. I prefer Cloud over both of them, I have to say. Um, I would repurchase that 100%. But I still like them and I'll use them. But anyway, that's my Ariana Grande perfume unboxing. <laughs> Thank you. 